what is popping my youtube fam welcome or welcome back to the channel on the menu today you guys we are going to clean some bone-in fish now i get my bone-in fish from the store but i you definitely do have to go over it and clean it again okay so that's what we're gonna do because we are going to visit grandma today and she loves when i fry her bone in fish so i'm gonna take a nice basket of bone in fish to grandma's house today so we have we have whole tilapia right here it's a fish whole tilapia and we are also going to take some porgies which is right here so what i like to do is we definitely don't fry it like this honey we got to chop that head off butterfly it get that blood and guts out so if you are squeamish you better turn the channel so as you can see when you get it from the store it's like basically already gutted out you just kind of have See that stuff, like all that right there? We don't want that. So first I'm going to cut the head off, and I like to start right here behind that fin or that, what do you call that? Uh, a gulp? Oh, I forgot what you call that. But see, head chopped off nice and easy, right? A lot of people eat the head. They say this is where the most flavor is. I'm good on that, okay? I'm good on, on the head. So now we put this back in here. I like to take it and I'm not the most perfect um, fish cutter, butterfly or whatever you want to call it. I just like to try to be really careful. Good thing my knife, is, my knife is nice and sharp, but I like to just get in there. There we go. See that? Boom. I'm getting kind of better at it. Okay. So that's a nice little butterfly. So now, y'all, what I like to do is basically put it back under some water. And I like to give it a good scrub just to get that blood blood um, out and, you know, all that stuff. We're going to clean it up. Because it's for the most part, it's nice and clean. It's scaled. Nice, fresh-looking meat. And I also like to take it. Matter of fact, I like to take my kitchen scissors and... Cut it because I'm going to cut these. Then I'm going to break it down after I clean it and I'm going to cut it again. Hold on. Some parts the knife work better using a knife, and some uh, parts of cleaning works better with the scissors. Ugh, boom. So now we got a nice piece of fish right here. Um, sometimes I cut these off, but. It don't really matter. Um, once you fry it up real good, sometimes I like to suck on those fins, honey. Yes, I do. But see there? Let's put it back in the water. Put that back in the water. And let's see what these porgies looking like in the inside. So the head is already cut off on the porgies, as you can see. But they're going to have stuff again we got to get rid of. I'm going to carefully take my knife. Ooh, trying to find a spot where the bones we're just gonna cut all the way down like that like that porgies have very bomb flavor to me but honey they are bone knee when i tell you these are loaded with bones porgies but there you go put that in the water to get cleaned up here you go put this in the water to get cleaned up and then y'all before i fry it after i clean it i cut it again like going this way but i'm just gonna finish cleaning these up y'all stay tuned All right y'all so we got our porgies nice and cleaned i'm just getting off a little bit of this excess water we got all that yucky stuff off so it's looking like it's ready to be fried Squeeze some of this water off. You really don't have to have them super dry. Well, if you want to have them super dry, you can, but really don't matter to me. I just want them partially dried off. Boom, like that. Then I'm going to season it. Get a little bit more paper towel. Like I said, it don't have to be bone dry. 
Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, and what I'm going in with, because it is excellent on fried fish or any seafood, is my um, Yaya's Catering. I put that on everything, all-purpose lemon garlic flavor, y'all. Okay, this is bomb. If you want some, link is in the description. You can order it right off my website. Okay, boom. And I'm going lightly because I'm using seasoned flour, y'all. I keep my fish, bone and fish real simple. Real simple. All you need is a sprinkle of that seasoning or the seasoning of your choice. And I'm just going to turn them all over and give it another light, light um, coat. And then I forgot to cut them in half again. I'm going to cut them in half again. Okay, boom. Another light coat of that. And then we're just going to cut these in half. Here is my seasoned flour. I'll show you guys what flour I use when I get back. Um, excuse my appearance. I am cooking. But... Here's my big bag. I just shake it up right in the big bag. And in this bag, I have the Louisiana seasoned fish fry batter with a little bit of flour. Okay, that is all I use. My beautiful YouTube fam, I am so sorry that I couldn't make y'all a plate, but I'm going to show you mine. All you need is hot sauce and bread, baby. You guys, make sure you hop over to my website to order up your all-purpose seasoning. Free shipping on all orders.